Hey guys, I have not made a video in a while. Don't mind my hair. I like literally have been having the same ponytail in for the past like two days and whatever. I don't really care, but I'm hungry and I want to make Alfredo because I just watched a TikTok of someone making homemade Alfredo like saying, is it worth making it or buying the sauce? I always say it's worth making it because I don't like any of the like jars of alfredo you can get at the store now i just made shrimp alfredo the other day but i'm just gonna make like alfredo no chicken nothing in it because i'm not really in the mood for chicken right now but i do have ew it fell I'm just gonna throw it away. I'm not that worried about a spoon. Maybe that's why it smelled like that. So once I start the dishwasher, it's gonna be really loud. So I actually might wait till I finish the Alfredo to do it. But yeah. So my recipe for the Alfredo is actually on my phone, I'm pretty sure. I don't know if I wrote it down. So just give me a second. Alrighty guys, so I'm back. Now, how I make mine, this pan isn't on, I just literally turned the heat on and I have the water, so I just started the water too. So this recipe, it, um, I took a few things out, like you're supposed to add garlic, but I don't really like garlic, so you know. You can add whatever you like. I can't tell you how much garlic because I don't remember. But it wasn't a lot. It wasn't a lot. So it just calls for butter, flour, parm, salt, and pepper. So you need one fourth cup of butter, which is just a half a stick of butter. And I let it melt first. Um, the recipe says just add the butter and the flour. But... I wait until it's completely um, melted and you need it over low medium heat. This is my um, flour. It's just one fourth cup and you have to whisk, whisk it in. Yeah, we gotta go. We gotta hurry up. Show you. Like, I have it on honestly too hot, but like this slightly brownish color. Now, sometimes. What might happen, and I've had this happen, actually, I don't even see the pan, um, is they'll start to clump together, like, when you're making it, it'll all clump together sometimes. Once you add the milk, that'll go away, and I've a splash in that time, but, like, sometimes I just add it all, and it's fine. It just takes a little bit longer to thicken, but it will thicken. Now, I already have all the clumps out, but obviously, you know, most Alfredos are thick. They're not. Now, once you add it to the noodles, it becomes real thick. It's not like a creamy sauce. If you add more milk, it'll become more creamy. Put the whole thing in. So, that's what we're going to do. Sorry, yelling at a different cat. Oh, point. Usually those, usually those are like a bad thing. I'm gonna switch no. this over because that burner. But like, wow. You're just gonna pour it over the noodles. See? Um. Yeah. I'm actually. Oh, if you want, you can top it with some shredded mozzarella. I'm gonna top the other one with some shredded mozzarella and enjoy. If you need to add some more salt, I probably won't have to because I'm just gonna add a dash. Only cause I added a lot of salt to the sauce on accident, but yeah, bye.